Welcome to another Affinity Photo Tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a decorative wax seal. I saw this done in Photoshop and I thought we could recreate it in Affinity Photo and maybe make it look even a little bit better. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to start off with just a blank document that has a background, our envelope, and I've already brought in some guidelines and snapped those into the center of our document so that we can build our shapes around this. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to the ellipse tool. Select that. We'll make sure that the fill is red. And then we'll come over here to the center of our document. It snaps in place and we'll hold command and shift and drag out our ellipse. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger than what we need for right now so that we can see what we're doing. All right. So once we've got that made, let's come down to layer effects and we're going to create our, our primary effect here. We're going to come down to bevel and emboss. And let's make sure that that's set to inner. And then we're going to separate our radius and depth. And we're going to make the radius pretty big and our depth even deeper. And for a profile, let's go ahead and use this really broad curve right here. And then we'll soften it up just a little bit. And we can play around with the direction of the light a little bit to get, you know, the highlight where we want it. So I'm just going to leave it right about there so we can see that little bit of highlight there on the side. And you know, I'm going to make the depth even bigger. So we'll accept that. So now what we need to do is deform this because when you stamp something in wax, the stamp will spread the wax out. So let's come down here to our uh, mesh warp tool. We'll select that and that rasterized our, uh, our layer there. And what we need to do now is create a bunch of divisions in here. So we're just going to come up along the top line here and double click and go across until we have about six or seven separations. And then we're going to do the same thing going down the side. Double click. And we want these kind of close together like this because that will help retain the center of our document. So that's good coverage right there. So now what we're going to start to do is we're going to take some of these points and we're just going to pull on them and some of these lines and pull on them. And this is going to give us our uh, our smashed effect. And you can kind of play with this any way you want. You don't have to grab the point. You can grab part of the line. But you know, play with it until you're happy with the way that it is deforming. And that looks pretty good to me right now. So we'll go ahead and apply that. So that's our, our basic effect right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create another ellipse circle on top of that here. We're going to hold Command and Shift, drag it out to roughly about the size of what the inner stamp would be. Right about there. And let's go ahead and duplicate that layer for right now because we're going to need it. So we'll Command J and duplicate that. And we'll just hide that top one for right now. So we'll come down to this one right here. Come back down to Layer Effects. Bevel and Emboss. And this time we're going to go with an outer bevel. And we're going to invert it. And separate our radius and depth again. And we're going to drag up our radius and drag down our depth because that's, that's where the stamp goes into the wax. And normally if it's depressed a little bit like that, it would be a little bit darker. So let's come over to our color overlay. And we'll come to red on that. And then we're just going to back it over here until we get a little bit of like an inner darker shadow. That's looking pretty good right there. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to create our decorative inside. And this could be anything you want. So right now what I'm going to do is come over to the artistic text tool and for this, I have a, a font called Bodoni Ornaments. So I'm just going to drag out a box here. And there we got that. I'm going to type in uh, D. Nah, I don't like that. Let's make it a G. There, there we go. We got a little uh, flourish there. So let's take that flourish, drag it over here. And we'll scale it down just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and duplicate that layer, Command J. And we'll take that layer and we will flip it horizontally. And we're just going to drag it over to the other side. 
And then we're going to put a letter in the center of this. So let's come back over to our artistic text tool. Let's just drag out a letter that we can see. Let's change the font to, uh, oh, I don't know, something a little more decorative here. Let's try this Campania script and we'll type in T for Tony. And let's move that into the center here. And we're going to scale it in just a little bit, make it a little narrower so it doesn't infringe on our flourishes and we'll make it a little bit taller and we'll kind of get it down there in place. And now let's take the letter and the two flourishes. Let's go ahead and group those and then we'll rasterize and trim those. Now we're going to make our other ellipse here that we hid, we're going to make that hot and let's rasterize and trim that as well. And with that layer selected, we're going to command click on our letter and flourish to select it. And then we're going to command C because that will copy it from that red ellipse. Command V, it'll paste it in place. And then command D will deselect the whole thing. And we will hide our letters here. So now all we really need to do here is turn this circle off and we can see our letters and our flourish there. And we just need to add one more effect to this. We'll come to Bevel and Emboss. And on this time, we're going to go with an outer and we'll split the radius and the depth. And you can see it actually looks like it's embossed. It's sticking up. That would be the indented part of the stamp. And we can bring the depth up a little bit more if we want and soften it up. And now what we can do is group our decorative text all the way down to our bottom embossed. And we'll group those together. And we can scale it down a little bit now so that it looks the right size for the envelope. We'll put it right there in the center. And last thing we're going to do is go into layer effects for that group and we'll add an outer shadow to just pull it off the paper just a little bit, just a little bit like that. And we'll get rid of our guidelines. We'll deselect everything there. And there you go. Pretty easy uh, effect. Again, you can stylize this any way you want. You can use any combination of images and letters to get your embossing effect. But yeah, easy way to recreate the wax seal in Affinity Photo. So if you like this or if you learned something, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to my channel. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.